Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna move into university. Now first step for the day was putting on some makeup to look a little more awake and then it was time for my final breakfast with my family. Since I'm moving away to a different university now, it was kind of a special moment and here you can also see my cousin who came over to help me move because she has a car. Now then it was time to pack up anything I still hadn't packed. As you can see I put any liquids into zip bags to avoid them from spilling, I find that pretty useful. And then it was pretty much just time to put anything in that I had forgotten about packing so far and that also included my deal. And this also brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Native. Native is a deodorant brand and what I love most about them is that they're perfect for people with dry skin such as myself because they're actually hydrating. They sent me free scents to try, one of them being Apple and Honeysuckle, which is a very cute autumn scent. Then they also sent me Lavender and Rose, which I actually already tried for a previous collaboration with them and I absolutely love it because it's a very fresh scent but that's also kind of feminine. And then they also sent me Rose. And that scent is probably my absolute favorite because it's just very sweet and I really really like using it. Now, what I also love about these is that they pretty much last forever because I'm still using up my native products from my previous collaboration with them, which was months ago. And I absolutely love using them. Now, here's how you use them. This is what it looks like when you want to use the deodorant. So you just use this little roller at the bottom to get out all of your product. And you can see here how much product you're getting in one bottle. And the great thing is that they are aluminium, paraben and sulfate free, and they are also vegan and cruelty free. Now they have lots of different scents which are very natural that are available. You can just go to their website to check out which different options they have, but there really is something for everybody. And you can now get 33% off because free deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link and the code ELENAH2, then you will get them for $24. I hope you guys will enjoy Native and yeah, let's get back to the video. And then it was time to say goodbye to my room and then leave home. It is always kind of scary to leave the university, but of course it's especially kind of scary now that it's a new university because I'm doing a year abroad. And yeah, while the car was fully packed, I've already shown you guys these bags in my packing video, but as you can tell, things kind of exploded and I packed a lot more. Now, to be fair, some of this is from my cousin because she slept over at my house, but still this is kind of a lot. And yeah, then it was time to say goodbye to my mom and, you know, give her one last hug. And then my cousin and I were on the road and on our way to Regensburg, which is where I'm doing my exchange here via the Erasmus program, which Cambridge University offers to its law students. And of course, we were listening to trashy German rap because that's our vibe. And yeah, you probably guessed it already. Of course, there was a little stop at McDonald's because, well, this is a vlog by me and it wouldn't be complete without McDonald's. So here we are. And now back to our journey to Regensburg. Once we arrived in Regensburg, we had a little snack, which was an American cheesecake, which was so, so good. I can't even tell you. And then there was also house-made lemonade, which was really, really cool. And then I finally got my keys to my dorm and then it was time to go and see what my dorm room actually looks like. So this is what it looked like when I first walked in there and it was honestly a lot bigger than I expected it to be and um, there were also some really great windows so I would get a lot of daylight and I actually could also go outside which is something I really did not expect at all and I had a massive pin board and as you can see a really big desk, absolutely loved that, lots of space for storing books, very good. And I also got my own bathroom, which is another thing I didn't expect. I thought I would have to share a bathroom, but I'm really grateful that I have one to myself. And then we also have this massive wardrobe, which is definitely bigger than the wardrobe I had at Cambridge. So that's definitely an upgrade. So yeah, then it was time to pack everything into the room. So um, we've just taken all the stuff from the car and we've put it into the room. This is what it looks like right now. As you can tell, we've already made kind of a mess, um, but we, we didn't unpack anything intentionally. Hi, Asanta. Um, so basically, we're now just thinking about what do we need to get because we're going to Ikea. Um, I already have plans to hopefully replace the curtains. I'm not really into green, um, so these green curtains are kind of not my vibe. So, yeah. I'm gonna see. Um, we can take them off, that's why they look this weirdly, because we, we just tried. Um, so we could replace them if we find something. Um, and yeah, aside from that... Um, we're just gonna, you know, look around now, write down a few things that we want to buy, then we're gonna go off to Ikea, and um, then also to the supermarket, and yeah, that's pretty much the plan for now. And this is what it looks like when you let my cousin and me go wild in Ikea, because, well, it's a lot of stuff. 
Hi guys. Oh, I can take off my mask now. Um, so, um, we just went to Ikea and um, the car is once again kind of filled up with stuff. Um, if you guys are wondering where are you planning to put all these things in this tiny room, you're going to see. <laughs> um, I, I have a plan in my head. Um, also, by the way, um, when you go to, um, you know, buy stuff for your dorm room, here's a tip that I've learned after moving into several dorms, which is always take pictures of the entire dorm before you leave and then use the measure app on your iPhone just to measure things, you know, like how big is the space in different cupboards so that you know what to buy so that you don't buy anything wrong. So yeah, now the plan is we're going to go for groceries because we need food, right? Yeah. <laughs> my cousin is kind of dead because let's be real she's probably doing most of the work um and i'm doing a very important task of supervising <coughs> um and you know designing that's also part of my job what the hell are you designing we literally bought stuff that was already designed like the interior design of the room yeah do you know how many already designed rooms there are in ikea and you just grabbed everything and was Oh my god, that fits nicely because it was already designed together. <laughs> I don't think you need to like, you know, put my job down that much. Because it's not a job. It isn't. Every interior designer watching was offended right now. Yeah, because some interior designer already designed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna get food now <laughs> because I'm hungry. <laughs> And then I'm going to continue with my very important task in this group. We actually abandoned our plan to go to the supermarket because we realized we need to put all of this stuff into the room first and also figure out how the shared kitchen works. So we just decided to go straight back to the dorm, put everything into the dorm and then get some dinner at a restaurant or a takeaway place. Okay, you guys. Hi, it's me. I'm hiding in the bathroom with all my stuff because... And this is what it looks like right now. And you know her. If she wants to clean up her mess, you best leave her alone. I just told so. Asante to go and hide because I feel like this is kind of traumatic in it and is. of itself. Um, it is. And I feel like I've done enough to her in all these years. And you also did. I need her to move back with me to Cambridge and take all of my stuff out of the storage that she hates. So I just feel like, you know, I'm going to spare her that disaster right here. The first step is acknowledging your problem. And you just did that. Perfect. Great. We'll see each other in about 30 minutes. Bye. Many, many minutes later. About, well, 25 to 30 minutes. We'll see. Oh, she did. Hello. Oh my God, we got a lamp. We do. I built this. I'm proud. Where's the instruction? Certainly In didn't trash. build it yourself. In the trash. Look. I had to like, you know, stick it, screw it on, and then um, I had to stick it on. Wow. I was pretty difficult. Um, we also now have baskets, ladies and gentlemen. Voila. We Um, and we do have a little thing for jewelry now, which is very, very fancy in my opinion. Oh, and look at that! Books. Lots of books because, you know, don't trust anyone who doesn't have books in their home. Like, people who don't read, weird. Um, and, of course, we have now some more storage place where, you know, you can hide your stuff in. Um, and, yeah, honestly, that's kind of like everything I achieved. Um... But it's, it's looking, oh no, 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 this is not everything I achieved. I belittled my accomplishments. Um, we also now have a laundry basket with lots of pillows inside right now. Um, but these pillows will be on my bed at some point. But yeah, that's everything for now. And look at this cute little thing that I bought for my dog. Well, actually, Elena bought it. I still have to pay it back. Psh. It is very cute. Isn't it cute? Got two of them. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, we're gonna go eat now because we're starving and dying. Um, and yeah, then we're probably gonna do some more work in this room, um, but we'll show you guys tomorrow what it looks like. And probably there's a lot of disaster that we have to mitigate tomorrow. But yeah, 
that's the plan for now. Several days later. So remember how about five seconds ago I told you guys I will see you tomorrow? Yeah, that never happened. Um, so here's what did happen. Uh, my cousin and I were super, super busy yesterday. So that was the tomorrow that I talked about in the last clip. And honestly, we just didn't get to vlog because she had to leave relatively early. And so we just had to go and buy lots of stuff so that we have everything because she was here with a car and so obviously I wanted to make use of that for buying a lot of stuff that I need. Like for example, I now own a printer, yippee yeah, yeah because I really needed it. And that also meant that I could do some room decoration today. And I've actually also had my first session of the orientation course. The orientation course is mainly held via Zoom, though there are some in-person events because you just have to have them in person. Like for example, when they go and register you with the city and stuff. Um, but yeah, aside from that, most of it is done from my room. Um, and now I'm just putting up my pictures. Now I actually put all of them up and they were fine, but then this picture fell down. This is actually my logo and yes, I'm that bougie and really printed out my own logo. Because why not? I drew this, it took me ages. I think it deserves to be put up on a wall. So yeah, um, this is the logo that you guys see usually in my vlogs. It like pops up in the beginning somewhere um, and yeah, I'm just gonna put that up on the wall. I think it looks nice, I like it, um, so yeah. Now, um, since it fell off, I thought this would be a good opportunity to actually show you guys how I put up all my decorations um, and yeah, so let's do that. Now, I always use these power strips by Tiza. This is not a paid ad or anything, but basically these can hold up to two kilograms, which is amazing. Now, this does not weigh two kilograms, in fact, this frame does not weigh as much as these like thick gold frames that I have up here. But for some reason, the one that fell was this one. And I don't know why. So now I have put so many of these strips on it that like if it falls off now, I don't know what's wrong, but like it ain't me. It's probably the demon of the room. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put this up now and I'm going to show you guys how I actually make sure that all of my paintings are put up, you know, at like the right angle so that they don't look weird. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do that without using a ruler um, and just using stuff that I have in my room. I have done this in every dorm room. Um, so yeah, let's get creative for putting up a frame. Okay, so here's how I'm putting up this frame. Basically, I just took two elements from this shelf. You can just take them out and then put them back in later. And then I also took my diary. And now the idea is that you just take the frame and you can use this thing that you put up here on the wall to see whether you're putting it up straight because this is a straight line. So you can check whether your painting is hanging correctly. You can also put it directly onto it if you want to. Now, if you like the position that it is in, I do like it because it fits well with all of the other frames that are here. Then you can then take off all of the protectives from the strips and then you can just stick it onto the wall. And there we have it. The wall is complete. I quite like it. I put up a few quotes, but also some prints and I think it looks actually quite nice and just works really, really well with the color scheme of the bed. So yeah, that is one corner of my room done. Now, before anyone thinks that I'm damaging my dorm's walls by putting up strips, no, I'm not because the entire point of these is that they are super easy to remove without damaging the walls. So far, they have worked for me in every dorm that I've lived in, so I'm going to keep using them. But yeah, that is one corner of my little room complete. Now, I will be doing a room tour once everything is done, but there's still a lot of work to do. I can show you guys what the room looks like for now. Um, so I do have a little wardrobe here, I guess you could call it. Um, so just all my jackets are here. Um, then I also put up all my jewelry here. Um, and yeah, just some boxes for storage. I did manage to finally once have a color-coded bookshelf and I feel very good about it, not gonna lie. Then here are all of my cosmetics and this does not belong here, but this is actually a protective net, which I need to put up on the window because, well, I have a little insect issue. We will get to that in a second. And yeah, then there's just some more books, laptops and, um, well, stuff <laughs> and more stuff and shoes. And very, very fluffy carpets from Ikea, which are super, super comfortable. And yeah, here's my desk. Um, 
This definitely needs work and I think I will put up vinyl again as I did in Cambridge but I need to order that first and yeah that is what the room looks like for now. Okay now let's get back to this one and my little insect issue. Um, so I have actually thought a lot about whether or not to talk about this because obviously I don't want to put anyone off doing a year abroad but at the same time these vlogs are supposed to be real um, and then I realized I was overthinking this way too much and this is really not that bad. So <laughs> here's what happened. Um, basically when I moved in, my cousin and I very quickly discovered that there are a lot of dead insects, usually at the corners. Um, and then there were also a lot of still alive spiders. I guess the spiders were feeding off the dead insects. I don't know how that works. Um, maybe. <laughs> um, so, but anyways, um... Basically, most of the dead insects were either dead flies or some weird looking insects. I actually just googled around to find out which ones they are and if you're scared by insects, skip ahead 10 seconds now, otherwise this is what I think they look like. Um, I'm not going to show you guys pictures of what this place looked like before I cleaned it because, well frankly, I think it's disgusting and showing dead animals is just bad taste even if it's insects. Um, so yeah, I don't think you can really see it from the video we took when we just walked in because as I said it was in the corners and obviously insects are kind of small but when you looked into the corners there were actually a lot of them. So basically what I did is I bought loads and loads of cleaning supplies and basically spent a lot of yesterday just cleaning this place. And I also bought this anti-insect spray because now I'm kind of paranoid and you know I just don't want to see any insects in here, whether dead or alive. And that's why I also ordered this thing because I want to be able to open my windows without thinking about anything flying in here. And also, you know, I ordered a single room, which means I will be sharing it with no one. And that includes creatures whose size is measured in millimeters rather than centimeters. And that is that. So yeah, I think the first experience of moving in here has kind of turned me into a germaphobe. Now, as I said, this is really not that bad. Um, you just have to clean it once and then it's all right. But it was just kind of disgusting in the beginning because you have to, you know, get rid of these dead insects and that's a little ugh. Um, but at the same time, you know, I now know how to deep clean a dorm room and that's also an experience. But you know, I'm also kind of proud of myself for having dealt with this relatively calm because I'm very disgusted by insects in general and when they're dead, it's just ugh, even worse, kind of, I don't know. Maybe it is worse when they're moving, I'm not sure. Both are bad. So I'm just really hoping that this is gonna stop any insects from ever finding their way into this room again. And yeah, I think I've turned into a little bit of a germaphobe, but I'm also quite proud of myself for having dealt with my first challenge of being, well, not really abroad, but being at a different university, you know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring it. And I will see you guys soon in university vlogs and also, of course, with a room tour once everything in here is done and, of course, super clean because you bet I will be cleaning this place so much. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a lovely day. Bye!